Hello, YouTubers, and welcome to another review with me, Peter, the Master of Hoppets, carrying on with the newest hop freshener beer from the Hop Concept or Port Brain slash Lost Abbey. Uh, I've reviewed the Dank and Sticky, which was the first one, the Citrus and Piney, which was the second one, and this is the newest, which is the Hop Freshener Series Lemon and Grassy, double IPA on 8.5%, brewed with a lemon cyst and some lemony hops. Uh, so far, this series has been just dead on nice West Coast IPA, and I know the trend right now is like West Coast is going out of style, which was big before, now it's East Coast because of the big Vermont style beers. Uh, but this is pretty fresh. This was brewed in August. We're late September now. This is max two months old or two months fresh. As Darwin, saw, Darwin always says fresh. That is very fresh for Europe. So, it says that our summer IPA features tangy floral hops on the nose with aromas of fresh cut grass and lemon peel on the first sip. Tangelo and lemon cyst burst through with emerging hints of spice from hops and all balanced by a faint caramel backbone. And it's hopped with Galena, which is actually a pretty pine. No, that's. Is it Galena? Super Galena? I remember one of them as being pineapple. Uh, Bruce Gold, Comet, Le Comet, Lemon Drop, Nelson, and Sriracha Ace. And I've never had a lemon drop before, so. That should be interesting. We've got it poured here, guys. And it's a really nice, hazy, orange, yellowy color. Probably looks a lot darker on the camera, but I have a little light there so I can see it better. Nice, frothy head to it. Uh, I know a lot of people also don't like uh, Sriracha Ace too much, but if you use, utilize it right, you can get it to be like quite tropical. That's what Ama does in their beers. But yeah, let's stop yapping and chill out the aroma. Sriracha Ace, yeah. <laughs> it's so, it's that kind of lemongrass, herbaceous, looking at you, Joe, herbaceous, kind of herbal, green, hop, aroma, uh, but lots of lemon, lots of lemon and citrus, some dank, overripe dank, grapefruit, sticky grapefruit, it's, it's got that, a little bit of that sticky malt sweetness, but not too much, it's actually mostly like dank, sweet, uh, lemony and grapefruity hops. Actually pretty dang. And then that sriracha is lemongrass, uh, kind of spicy, uh, minty almost aroma. Actually it smells really nice. And it smells like fairly fresh, which is freaking awesome. So let's give the Hop Project Hop Freshman Series Lemon and Grassy a taste. Cheers guys. Sriracha Ace Bomb. <laughs> That's nice. If you don't like Sriracha Ace, I don't think you'll like it too much. Because there's a lot of Sriracha Ace on it. Nelson is kind of hidden. There is maybe a little bit of that white grape slight tropical character, but it's very faint. It's just really lemony, as the label say, says. I don't know about grassy, maybe a little, but it's mostly like lemon, dank lemon, lots of grapefruit. And that unique uh, Sriracha Ace character, which is like... Um, that kind of uh, lemongrass, spearminty, herbaceous, green uh, flavor, and then quite dank as well. Mm. Nice chewy mouthfeel, not too much malt. There's a little bit of sweetness to it, uh, malt sweetness, but not much. It's mostly like sweet hop flavor and like that sweet, dank, lemony, tons of sriracha ace, kind of spearminty, and lemongrassy flavor. I mean, you could, if you have a beer and you've had Sriracha Ace once, once you can pinpoint immediately if there's Sriracha Ace in the beer because it's such a unique flavor. And I think a lot of people dislike it because of the spearmint. It reminds a lot of people of like toothpaste and bubblegum, like like minty fresh bubblegum. Uh, that's why I think a lot of people don't like it too much. But I have come to really dig Sriracha Ace, especially because of. Uh, I'm on Bokus because they utilize it in a lot of their uh, hoppy beers, but uh, not a mind blower, just, just dead on kind of west coast juicy grapefruity, very lemony compared to some others, and Sriracha AC, if you can say that, uh, west coast type IPA, nice dankness and everything. I still have a lot of love for the west coast beers, but uh, a lot of people have been saying I'm doing a trade for Treehouse and Trillium. Uh, that after I've had those beers, I'm not going to be able to go back, but we'll see about that. So, <laughs> nice stuff. Just like all the others in the series so far, this gets a 90. It's dead on. It's really nice. Not a mind blower, just bonsobil, as we would say in Danish. Dead on. So, 
Guys, definitely let me know what you think of the Hot Freshener Series, uh, Hot Concepts, Concept Hot Freshener Series Lemon and Grassy Double IPA. It almost has a candied lemon flavor to it as well, but yeah, nice stuff. 90 for me, guys. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page, and Twitter, and Instagram. And I'm going to say cheers. See you guys in another beer review.